being part of this community and part of Mac Avenue Community Church has just allowed me to see the gospel in completely new ways and just living out um, the gospel in, in my everyday life and school and career, but almost in a new way, I've just seen what it looks like to neighbor, what it looks like to do life with people and how that's so crucial to sharing the gospel, to seeing transformation of where we're at, um, and that also the community is just a vital part of my own growth that it definitely cannot happen in isolation or in um, even just, just on a Sunday. It's just, the gospel is just so holistic, and I think that's um, totally changed my perception of, of how to do life following Jesus. And for me, those components have been just of great growth, and I think there is accountability, but not in a negative way, just because there is such um, such constancy in those relationships, and the focus is Jesus and the Gospel, that um, I feel like I have constantly been growing and um, fully revealing myself to the people in my back group and to my discipler, and that has challenged me to continually grow, to know and love Jesus better, and, and to minister to people. We're all here in the same study, in the same zip code on mission together, so um, we have similar concerns and similar, um, we can hold each other accountable in areas of growth that um, it's new and I think I have not experienced it as in depth before. At Matt Group, uh, like I said, there's this aspect of vulnerability associated with uh, being a member here in this church body. and. As a couple, when we go to Mac group, our small groups of six to eight or however many people end up uh, being in a Mac group at one time, uh, there's this level of vulnerability that's almost expected uh, within Mac group individually and as a couple. So whether we're, um, we're uh, married or not married, sleeping together when not married, or um, sinning in certain areas when uh, where we shouldn't be sinning and just the two of us know it or something like that, um, that gets brought to the table in the Mac group. And so as a couple, uh, that we've kind of always been here as a couple because we got married and moved right to this community. But <laughs> um, I think that's really helped us to grow, uh, grow in each other, grow in the Lord, and have, make sure Christ is really the center of our relationship um, because you, you don't hold anything back. I mean, you're expecting your discipleship, your disciplers in your Mac group to hold you accountable um, so that we can ultimately be um, glorifying God in this process. Just being able to talk to other families and share life with other families and couples, um, just witnessing other people um, and other marriages, other um, parents' interactions with their kids has just been a great testimony to us um, of how um, like how to raise godly children, how to have a godly marriage, um, how to live um, godly lives in your community. Um, so that definitely has had an impact I think, on our lives. Um, having such a strong community of believers, I feel like we've sacrificed a lot um, to live here, but I feel like spiritually our children are going to be raised in like the best environment possible. Um, and that is sacrificing for them. Yeah, I can't imagine doing this with anybody else. Um, it's really hard and you get burnt out really, really quick and you haven't even been here very long. Um, but you just have to surround yourself with those people who are going to encourage you and who are going to pray for you and who are going to say, like, when you have doubts, like, remind you why you're here. And Yeah, even, I mean, every Sunday, every uh, service that we have, if you're in a hurry to get out of the building, you better leave before the service is over because you'll be bombarded with people who want to know how you're doing or how your week went. Um, people just are really, really good about loving on each other here. Um, I think part of it is having that, that physical and emotional uh, moral support uh, living in this community. Um, but part of it is also these really, uh, these people who have God's really giving them this, this passion, the desire to uh, to want to build relationships with other people. And, and so when a bunch of people that have been given this passion, desire to build relationships get, gets together, <laughs> um, that just blossoms into this huge 
uh, conversation and big atmosphere, like blanketed in love, and it, it's, it's amazing being part of a body that is so strong and supportive. Yeah, it's just a big I will not family. trade it for anything.